We're diving into the fascinating topic of the Russian rocket engine fiasco. As you know, the race to space between the US and Russia has been a long-standing one. But what is happening in Russia's space program today? And how is SpaceX making an impact? Let's find out. First, let's take a look at the current state of Russia's space program. With the effects of sanctions and the loss of commercial contracts, the once proud program is struggling to remain relevant as a space power. In fact, President Vladimir Putin declared that Russia needed to master new rocket technology to compete for commercial space launches against SpaceX, and then proceeded to cut funding for spaceflight activities even more. However, Roscosmos could still count on the International Space Station and its commercial collaborations with Europe for financing. But then, Russia's invasion of Ukraine drew sanctions from the European Union and the UK, and Roscosmos responded by suspending rocket operations and recalling Russian staff from the French Guiana spaceport. This left four European satellites and one space telescope in search of new launch vehicles. A few days later, Roscosmos informed OneWeb, a British satellite broadband provider, that it would not launch its satellites unless it received guarantees that the satellites would not be used for military purposes and the UK government would divest from OneWeb's ownership. OneWeb responded by hiring SpaceX to take Russia's place. The European Space Agency informed Russia that it would no longer collaborate on a joint Mars mission, which it can afford to pursue alone. But Roscosmos cannot amid sanctions and Russia's belligerence toward its European partners. With no apparent way to remain relevant as a space power, and the US RD-180 rocket engine servicing one of the crucial sources of funding for Roscosmos being severed by themselves, Russia's space program is facing a tough road ahead. However, there is one company making waves in the industry, and it's none other than SpaceX. Their ability to supply rocket engines is unmatched, and they have even developed their own engines such as the Raptor engine. So how is the Raptor engine making such an impact? Let's start by comparing the Raptor engine with Russia's RD-180 engine, including their respective specs and capabilities. The RD-180 engine was once seen as the best engine in the industry, and all engine production was concentrated in Russia. However, since the sanctions of May 2014 and on the basis of a lawsuit filed by Elon Musk and SpaceX, a court order has temporarily suspended the conclusion of new contracts. But on the basis of old contracts, engine deliveries have continued. NASA was eager to copy the Russian engine, but they didn't succeed, at least not with satisfactory results, even after spending about a billion dollars in five years. That is, until the new Elon Musk engines, and now SpaceX's new gen engine, the Raptor, has absolutely outclassed Russia's best engine. In fact, eight years ago, Elon Musk warned the U.S. about its relationship with Russia and the rocket industry. And today, we can see why. The Raptor engine is superior to the RD-180 in every aspect. It uses the so-called full-flow combustion cycle, which means that all oxygen drives the oxygen turbo pump and the fuel drives the methane turbo pump. The production of the Raptor engine has reached seven engines per week, and the productivity is improving day by day. Additionally, it's necessary to note that the Raptor uses methane as fuel, which has a higher specific impulse and burns cleaner. It's also much easier in principle to synthesize on Mars, which Musk aims to do. Let's take a closer look at the specs of the SpaceX Raptor and RD-180 for a better comparison. The RD-180 has a thrust of 860,000 pounds, while the Raptor engine has a thrust of 440,000 pounds. However, what's interesting to note is that the Raptor engine is much more efficient and can achieve a specific impulse of 380 seconds compared to the RD-180's 311 seconds. This means that the Raptor engine has a higher thrust-to-weight ratio, making it more powerful and capable of launching heavier payloads into space. In fact, the Raptor engine is so efficient that it has the potential to enable a single stage to orbit spacecraft, which could revolutionize space exploration. Another advantage of the Raptor engine is its cost and reusability. The RD-180 engine is a one-time use engine, meaning it can only be used for one launch and then discarded. This makes it costly for space exploration missions. In contrast, the Raptor engine is designed to be reusable, 
which significantly reduces launch costs. SpaceX has already demonstrated the reusability of its engines by successfully landing the Falcon 9 rocket boosters after launch, making them the first company to achieve this feat. With the superiority of the Raptor engine, could it potentially replace Russia's RD-180 engine in the space industry? The short answer is yes. SpaceX has already secured contracts with the U.S. government to provide engines for their launches, including the Air Force's National Security Space Launch Program. In fact, the U.S. government has been actively trying to move away from the RD-180 engine due to concerns about reliance on Russia for space technology. The Russian rocket engine fiasco is a complex issue, but the impact of SpaceX and their Raptor engine cannot be ignored. With their ability to supply rocket engines and their development of superior engines like the Raptor, SpaceX has become a key player in the industry and is helping to reshape the landscape of space exploration. While Russia's space program is struggling to remain relevant, SpaceX continues to innovate and push the boundaries of what's possible in space technology. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you found this video informative and engaging. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content.